Welcome to Revive Explosion. I'm Hermes Falco Jr., your host, and today we have a very special program that will stimulate your faith. Like always, we do something to boost your hope, your faith, your walk with the Lord, and today we're talking about God-given dreams. Do you have a dream? Do you have a longing in your heart for something, a desire that God has placed on the inside? In today's program, I got someone here with me that is very close to me that has a powerful testimony about how the Lord can cause you to achieve your dream. Here with me is my brother, Daniel Falco. How are you? I'm doing well. Dr. Daniel Falco. He's a medical doctor here in the U.S. He's a neurologist, and I'm going to let him tell you what he does specifically, and we're going to go into his testimony and life story so that your faith can be boosted with your dream. So I want you to stick with the whole program because there's a message for you today. So Daniel, how are you doing? I'm doing well. It's a pleasure for me to be here and uh, participating with your program. Yeah, I know you've been in, in Finland before. I've been in Finland before. Yeah. I've been in the, the Norway, Denmark, it's getting near you a couple times, few times. It's a nice places, huh? Awesome place. Great food. Good, great food. Great yeah, people. Great people. Yeah, they're 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 amazing. So, uh, tell us a little bit about yourself and what 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 you do today here in in America. So, if you did not catch the beginning, I'm his brother. <laughs> okay. So, I am Daniel Falco. Um, I'm a doctor. I work with um, neurology, and I'm a stroke doctor, and I work here in the state of Virginia in the largest academic center, also serving as the, the medical director for the patient safety quality improvement. Mm -hmm. But that no, not always has been the case. That's right. right? That's right. Yes, how, was, how was the, uh, today he's a, he's a very important position the hospital. He does amazing things. But like you said, I, I, I've, I've known his walk and I've, I've been there with him. It's not always been the case. How was it before? So I've, I arrived in the US about 19 years ago, 19 years ago. And uh, we were from Brazil, both of us, and, and our family faced several challenges in the realm of finances in mm -hmm. Brazil. And um, there were always uh, moments of uh, struggling, yeah, of struggle there. And the nevertheless, we o were always uh, motivated to have dreams and aspirations that were w way, way beyond our reality. Yeah, and and I know there are some people watching today that have some dreams as well that can be considered impossible. Did, did you consider that to be like a, something naturally impossible? Yes, yes. So uh, we're both uh, Christians. We had uh, faith in, in, in to play. If you uh, look into the Bible, uh, I'll give a verse, right? So Luke one thirty seven that nothing is impossible with God. That's right. So sometimes... You, you may have aspirations, you may have dreams that to human eyes, they are impossible. The goal of a Christian, of a Christian mindset, is that not only you have this aspiration, but you have also to trust God and also seek God's will into that motivation behind you mm -hmm. of what this is motivating you to, uh, to uh, acquire or to achieve or, or to seek to walk that path that will lead to your uh, dream. So you ha you all, uh, how long has it been since you remember you had the dream to become a doctor? In Brazil, even you had that dream, I remember, but how long was that? So it's been, uh, I, since I was a, a, a child that matured, right? there are different levels of dreams, right? So different uh, levels of even the, 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 the how intense this dream burns inside of your, mm -hmm. your heart. Was it intense? Y yes, but the whenever you walk in the path, it, it's hard for you to see the whole picture. You know, it, it usually a, as a Christian, you walk and, and you will see uh, by revelation mm -hmm. and also by just by doing God's will, you will see things will line up in, in front of you. Yeah. And, and some of them, they are still impossible things. And it's not you overnight, know, right? It is not overnight. It's, it's a not process. O it, it is a process. And it, there, there are different levels for that, right? Mm -hmm. So I, I may say that 
especially my, my uh, target uh, audience at this moment in life is the youth, right? Uh, most of m my uh, residents, m medical students, and um, folks that I speak on a daily or, or address in, in a group. Young people. Young, young folks, no, not the, 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 the teenager, teenager ones, but the, the Their 20s. Uh, mid 20s, mm -hmm. uh, um, um, 30 uh, years of age. Um, different things here. So, there, as I mentioned, there are different levels of, 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 of pursuits, different levels of, of dreams. And, and there are also things that apply to a secular life, and there are also things that apply to a, a, a what I, I, I would say is a, a spiritual calling. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and of course, like now I look at his life today, it's very much different from how it was before. Like he said, we face difficulties. And we, we both had dreams that the Lord placed within our hearts. But there's a process that we all have to go through. And uh, uh, nowadays, he's, he's a doctor. He's uh, got a family. He's got a wife that is also a doctor and a daughter, beautiful daughter. have a beautiful niece, uh, Isabel. And, uh, but of course, like everybody that achieved something in life, you had to go through some difficulties. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about some difficulties that you had to face that was not easy during the process. And what did you do to overcome this, these difficulties? The, 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 the key word to pursue the, the pathway that's in front, ahead of you is, is, is trust and faith. Mm -hmm. Two things, right? I'm talking from a, a Christian perspective, okay? Trust and faith. Um, there's always room for everything else, right? So um, nowadays it's very common to, for even preachers to go with this uh, message of self-help mm -hmm. and and so on, but you trust, you have faith, and everything else is a plus. But those are the two key things. You know, there's always room for 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 motivation, for preparation, for encouragement, mm -hmm. and and for for uh, all the other uh, tools that we can use. Yeah. But those are the two two uh, key tools, and the the most challenging thing that I I'm telling I I faced were mainly on uh, regarding uh, the, the possibilities and also uh, finances. You know, mm -hmm. I gotta I gotta be honest to you, because w whenever you um, your your dreams are way 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 bigger than your resources yeah right <laughs> so that's, that's you, challenging that, that, that's challenging you cannot do it on your own like cannot cannot you make cannot it do it on your own because uh you have always also sometimes take take a, a, a step back and, and pray to god and 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 seek some guidance because just because you think you're you're far away from a dream or doing something that does not belong to you to the the pathway to accomplish your dream it doesn't mean that's not part of the of the plan mm -hmm. you know what i mean because uh, I'll, I'll give you a practical practical uh, il illustration here you have jobs right your job uh, you everybody needs a job to survive yeah you, 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 you gotta work income, somewhere do something uh, do work somewhere to do, do something right then you have a profession uh, a profession is something that will improve your life in regards to family health and and finances right and, and then a career mm -hmm. uh, a career is is more uh very closely closely linked to your identity right yeah. so much so that you may say oh i'm a doctor or i'm a lawyer it's very close linked to your identity mm -hmm. now my some people is their own identity no yeah, <laughs> it, it is but then on the, on the other side you have a calling right yeah you you have a calling so the, the which is very different from a a, a career mm -hmm. right and i'm not going to talk about a mission which is a different 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 uh, uh, uh aspect aspect but I'll, I'll i'll tell you that a lot of folks nowadays they link happiness to uh things okay mm -hmm. so i have a dream of d being this or doing that so that i can get this you know what i mean mm -hmm. in, in s uh, such a way that you are so your 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 soul happiness in life mm -hmm. is connected to that to things to things right or to positions or to to S social status social status now one thing that I, I realized is that is that on, again talking from a christian perspective most of the folks that i daily uh i have to to counsel or have to 
communicate and, and talk, even coach on a day to day are non Christians. Most of them, I'm mm-hmm. 99%. Percent, mm-hmm. uh, talking to you from a, a, a Christian perspective, everything has to be looking through the Bible, right? So you have to realize that the big difference from a, a Christian view is that look at the happiness for you once you have a difference between a, a calling and all the rest, in a, in a career and all the rest, is that the, the happiness for your is the fulfillment of your calling. That's right. Right? That's right. So if you have a call calling to be a missionary or you're gonna God has called you to do something that you may look, oh my gosh, how am I gonna do that? Is it so it seems so far away? It seems so much suffering down the, the road that I'm gonna go to. You know, mm-hmm. if you if you have a calling to become a missionary mm-hmm. in, in a in a in a, a country that, that is poor it, and it, it, it's not optimal. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. So you have to realize something. That's your happiness. Because your happiness is the fulfillment of your calling. Yeah. A- and that will fit and all, all the rest lines up. All the rest will line up because God's will is God's will, which is a, a different subject here, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. God's will is the manifestation of your calling, right? That's right. And the fulfillment of that. When you when you do what you what God has design you to do, then you'll find happiness. Yes. It's not just about getting stuff. So why did I bring that up? Because you, you, one thing you have to realize that on the way for you to achieve your, what we're calling dreams, right? But the way to you achieve your, the God's will to your life is that uh, a lot of times you find yourself doing something that doesn't fit that up, uh, perfectly. Mm-hmm. You yeah. know? And that you see all throughout the Bible, mm-hmm. right? You, you see the Joseph in the pit and then in in a in a prison, mm-hmm. right? You see uh, all these these biblical figures performing, David, you know, different roles, different jobs. Mm-hmm. They are very different, very different from God. What God's vision would were given to them. Mm-hmm. But you gotta be have maturity, patience, yeah, and, and and trust and faith, and a lot of endurance too. A mm-hmm. lot of endurance, a lot of endurance, and so sometimes the, the things don't change. Things don't change. And and one thing that I realized that whenever you're facing something that doesn't change, doesn't change. Sometimes God wants to change your heart. That's you right. Know? And once your heart is changed, then... Then you're ready th- for... Uh, yeah. God is more interested in, in working within you so that, like like he said, you fulfill your calling, you fulfill your purpose, rather than just give you the happiness that yes, people yes. Souls, uh, talk about. <clears throat> so we're going to want a short break right now. We'll come back talking about God-given dreams, and we're also going to pray for you. We're going to pray for everybody that's watching that God will give you a fresh vision even for this year of 2018, that you'll uh, be in a position to fulfill the dreams that God has for you. Let's go on that short break, and I'll be right back. Raamattu tekee selväksi, että Jumalan valtakunta ei ole kauniissa sanoissa ja hyvin rakennetuissa saarnoissa, vaan se on Jumalan yliluonnollisessa voimassa. Hänen valtakuntansa ilmapiirissä saamme rukousvastauksia, sairaudet paranevat ja demonit pakenevat. Hermes Palkka on kirja Jumalan valtakunnan voima. Auttaa ymmärtämään, kuinka voimme oppia toimimaan valtakunnan periaatteiden mukaisesti. Se on täynnä uskoa nostattavia todistuksia siitä, mitä Jumala tekee ympäri maailmaa juuri nyt. We are now back here with Dr. Daniel Falco. It's been uh, awesome to hear his insight into dreams and what God has for you. And... Uh, We've been talking about some practical steps for your life. So I, I want to ask you to give some people that have a dream, for example, they have a dream to become a doctors or lawyers or whatever that God has called them to be. What are some initial practical steps they can take to achieve that? I think to first is to believe, mm-hmm. right? First is to believe. And, and the second is that to know what really lies ahead of you. Okay, sometimes um, you have to realize that the the road to be uh, 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 walked, but it, it's not going to be easy. Mm-hmm. Right? You know, there's, there's sometimes it's some, there's some level of expectations that have to be matched to your your goals. So there will right? be challenges. There will be challenges, and there are some level of expectation that you should already have in your heart. Okay, mm-hmm. because like I- what, for example? No, I mean if you. If you were like me, or uh, uh, similar circumstances in which 
there are some uh, limited resources, mm -hmm. okay? Then y and you uh, want to achieve uh, a, a position or a uh, goal that is impossible. Uh, it, it is impossible, right? So you, d you cannot expect that it's going to be a walk in the park. Right, you, you cannot expect that 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 will, will be given to you. Yeah. Right. And 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 God had to do a lot of even miracles to for it to be in that position. Yes. Yes. So, so uh, God will give the wisdom. Mm -hmm. Okay. God will give the faith to believe in those miracles, mm -hmm. and those things will be manifesting. And also, it's a lot of hard work. Right. There's. N I, I That's tend, a good point. I, I tend not to dissociate any uh, walk in, with God. To not working, not working right? Uh, right? There's a lot of hard work inputs and uh, everything. There are lo lots of level of, of preparation, right? God does not bless laziness, right? <laughs> yeah, no, there, there, there's no blessing uh, in, in laziness. No <laughs> That's interesting. I remember um, when I, we're talking about like difficulties and, and challenges, like, like he was saying. I remember for some people when he mentioned that here in America that he wanted to become a doctor, some people would not believe. Not everybody's gonna believe your dream, right? Yes. So my advice, if I, if you, uh, I can give an advice, is that you you have to be very uh, careful with whoever you you share your dreams. Mm -hmm. Even nowadays, I they have a very few people that I share my dream dreams with. Mm -hmm. Because uh, one time I remember there was like a, uh, he shared with me he was in, even in a church church setting. There was a, a a pastor who was asking, "What what's your dream? <laughs> Remember that? What is your dream about this? And I want to be this. I want to be that." And then he shared he wanted to be a doctor. And because of it, of the limited resource at the moment, like they didn't believe. And like, you're dreaming too high. D tell them a little bit about like, do you believe like it's, it's possible to, to dream too high, or or if you're if it is from God, they should just stick to it no matter what people say. Yes, yes, because it it, it is really hard sometimes for you yourself to see. You accomplish no dreams, you know. When even with you come uh, with a level of poverty, right? Mm -hmm. um, if you do believe, right, God is gonna honor you. Yeah. But it, it's not a, a, a static event. It's a dynamic flow. It's a process. Whole process, a process. of faith, of, okay. of courage, uh, of faith, of courage, of of hard work, taking risks. Take yes, uh, faith. Yeah, right? takes risks. Yeah. And then. Uh, it's it's going to be a process, right? It may last years, right? Mm -hmm. I, I don't expect that you will, will be what you dream about tomorrow. Mm -hmm. That's important to say, because throughout this whole process, li like I said, you said, it, the, what you would you consider was the most difficult thing, like out of all the difficulties and obstacles that were a language, you know, language was for me because when I, when I when I arrived here in the U.S., I did not speak English. I knew some words, but there was no le the level of fluency was almost zero to communicate mm -hmm. uh, because of the accent, because of uh, whenever you come from uh, a, a third world country like we did, it's also, it's a lot of ways you see yourself, you know? It's a lot of It's linked things to your yes. identity, you gotta work uh, on your identity. You gotta work uh, with your, your identity and it's a, there are a lot of things that will take place for you to uh, 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 arrive at a certain level of confidence, right? So there's also the problem with uh, self-confidence at, 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 at this situation as well. And uh, as I, 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 I mentioned, depending on what you are trying to achieve, it's, it's the, the, the limitation of, of, of poverty, yeah. you know? The, the, the limitation that is, is uh, uh, something that can really hold you back. And God can break that, the, the poverty. He can break the, the lack of resources and, and he can bless you even financially. It's just amazing to see how God has blessed him that um, he took you, him from a position where he was. Now he placed you in a totally different position. Thank God. And you know where the source came from, right? Yes. It's just yes, amazing. Uh, it's been uh, one day uh, if God gives me the privilege, uh, we, we can share the whole story. But yes, it's been, it's been a journey. Mm -hmm. uh, a journey of miracles. Now look, look at look at this. If you think that you are in a situation that uh, you you see your dream is so far away, it's so different from your current reality. Don't be discouraged, because Doctor Daniel, he was um, he came at 21 years old. 
He didn't speak English. 21, not, he's not a child, right? Did not speak English, didn't have resources, but had a dream. Yeah, I had a dream. I, I, I didn't. I ended up <laughs> not having a high school diploma. I didn't <laughs> speak English. I, I but my 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 first years were just uh, difficult years, which I was working what car wash construction doing jobs that had nothing to do with necessary your... jobs for survival. <laughs> you know, <laughs> necessary job for survival. That's what's amazing. Like, like look at this. If you're struggling, he was 21. He came here, had no high school diploma because it's a long story. Uh, he, the, the school that he went to in Brazil was not registered or something like that. He didn't have a high school diploma. He didn't speak English. Had no finances, but had a dream to be a doctor in America. Now, look at this. Years, 19 years passed by. Now he's a neurologist in one of the most important hospitals here in Virginia. He teaches residents. He is a, 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 a doctor, uh, respecting his position. God has blessed him with finances. God has changed his life, gave him a family. What God cannot do in your life. Yes, and, and I still have humongous dreams. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> so you did not stop dreaming. No. W what would you say to someone that is discouraged right now? They're, they're like, they feel like they're in the pit. What would you tell them? Like, what advice would you give them that they are facing financial difficulties? It, it seems so far that they can reach something that God has spoke to them. What, what would you tell them? I, I tell you, I tell, this is a great place to be. Mm -hmm. you know? Because that's where God's going to manifest himself. Because when things happen, yes. you can only give God the yes. glory and the credit. Yes. There's no way. There's no way that he could say, oh, I, I did this because I was great. I, I was that." No, he got to this position only because God put his hand. And yes, he worked hard. Yes. So my advice is that you stop and you analyze your life very well. Mm -hmm. Very well. So that when you start achieving your goals, you remember. Mm -hmm. You remember that was God that did that. Yeah, you can right? only give God the glory. I, I, I think he needs to write a book because there's, there's so much more that uh, he could share. And, and we're going to pray for him in a moment. There's so much more he could share about um, uh, endurance, perseverance, uh, believing God, even when it seems, it seems impossible. Uh, even when the, when the circumstances do not line up to your dream. I... I I learned one thing uh, with our dream that uh, we're not supposed to be dictated by the circumstances, right? Like the hard circumstance in life, can, you cannot be just like blaming them instead of like believing God. Yes, you got to believe in God. And, and at the end of it, my friend, all the, all the difficulties, they'll become a testimony, mm -hmm. right? Uh, all the difficulties, all the struggles, they're part of, of, the, of the, the walk. The part of the process. And the beautiful thing is this, God can cause a test to become a testimony. And he can even cause a mass to become a message. So that's a, that's a powerful thing. Uh, when I look at his life, it's an inspiration even to myself because I also have dreams to, to do much more than I'm doing today. I don't, I don't feel like we have arrived yet to the fullness of what God wants us to do. Um, any, any final words on dreams that um, for people who have already achieved something, would you tell them, like, it's time to, like, settle down and give up or just... Should no, I think for uh, those who have achieved and for those who are planning to achieve, for those who are maturing their dreams, and even for those who have not achieved any final uh, decision of what to do with their lives, you mm -hmm. know, it, it, it is always a point that you should be in prayer. Amen. Always the point that you should be talking to God for direction, for wisdom, Amen. for guidance. That's right. Okay? Because if you say, oh, well, I always wanted to become this and look where I am. I'm, 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 so what, what now, what can you do? Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. What can you do? How can the, the gospel manifest itself? Mm -hmm. You know, because uh, it's time for you to pray for others, to help the poor. Mm -hmm. You know, not just like, okay, look at what yes. I got. It's time there's, to a, there's a reason for that, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. There's a reason for that. Yeah. And I believe that even with your the, his story, you can be encouraged. And I just want to pray for you right now, and you will agree with me in prayer that God will bless your life in a powerful way. If you have a dream, I'm going to pray for you. If you're in a difficult situation, we're going to pray that God touches your life and blesses uh, your ministry, your family. I mean, let's, let's just agree in prayer. 
Father, in Jesus' name, we just pray for every person that is watching, that is struggling, those who have dreams that you, that you place on their hearts. Father, I pray in Jesus' name that you cause Amen. their dreams to come alive. I pray for encouragement. I pray for the spirit of faith to rest on them. Father, I pray that everyone who's facing a difficult situation, maybe they are sick in their bodies, maybe they are, Amen, have Jesus. financial problems. Father, I pray you cause your mighty hand to touch them even now. I pray for every sick person to be healed in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray for every financial struggle, Father, to, for you to provide, Father, for every single person that is watching. You are still Jehovah Jireh, the Lord who provides. You are still uh, El Shaddai, the God who is more than enough. So I pray in Jesus' name, even as they heard Daniel's story, they will be encouraged, they will be strengthened in their faith, and they will follow the call you have for them. We bless your name. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much for coming You're here. Welcome. It was a Welcome. blessing. Pleasure. We Pleasure. should do another program like that uh, with different aspects in the future. But uh, God bless you. Follow um, your dreams, the dreams that God has placed within your heart. Never give up. We'll see you next program. Jos tämä ohjelma on rohkaisut sinua ja haluat nähdä sen jatkuvan, Voit tukea ohjelmaa soittamalla numeroon 0600-100-77 tai lahjoittaa tilisiirrolla ruudussa näkyvien tietojen mukaan. Kiitos tuestasi.